welcome to this first Better Your Chess video lesson entitled How to Tackle a Chess Position. Now in this video lesson I want to suggest you a method that you can use to examine a chess position. Okay, first let me say some introductory words here. Now the method is designed to go from a more global examination to a concrete examination in the end where you will be able to play a move. Also there's no perfect way of examining a chess position and this very much has to do with the fact that we all differ, that we're human and that um, parts of the process are really very much intertwined and um, of course you shouldn't also do this with each and every move uh, but rather try to use the method when you're not sure what to do. And um, of course this has to do with the fact that if you uh, examine the position on uh, moment number one, most of what you've examined is still valid for moment number two, right? So uh, yeah, don't be impractical and tiring about it. Don't do it on each move, but mm, try to use it when you're not sure. Okay, like I said, parts of the process are closely uh, intertwined and uh, well we're all human beings and our brain is very chaotic so this means that we can jump forward and backwards uh, even if we don't really like it because decisions can occur unconsciously and I suggest you try to make them conscious for a while at least and of course in that area some discipline will help you. Okay now let's start with the process here. I suggest you do an orientation of the position first. Just imagine you're sitting behind the board, it's your move and you're not sure what to do. Well then just try to take in the position of course and ask yourself the question what's going on? If you don't ask yourself this question you will never be able to play a good chess move. Now it may be of course that it's, uh, it's, it's not happening uh, consciously that you say to yourself what's going on? but I, uh, I suppose you, uh, you get the gist of it. You somehow, consciously or unconsciously, have to uh, ask yourself this question. Okay, now next, what do you look at first when you tackle a chess position? And uh, maybe you know yourself in this area because you're a chess player. And, um, well, you can imagine yourself walking through a tournament hall or in your club when it's not your move and you walk around, you know, you uh, keep it some other games, then normally what do you look at first? This will something. Uh, this will tell you something about maybe the way you approach chess. I can tell you that uh, the first thing I look at uh, to try and get a basic feel for the position is uh, the material balance or imbalance. And then normally when I figure that out, I also look at some other positional factors such as uh, king safety and maybe open files and pawn structure etc etc and I think it is important to get these basics because they give you a feel for the position for instance if somewhere down the line you're uh, threatened with uh, a checkmate and uh, one of the options to defend against the checkmate is by sacrificing a piece then of course it will help you if you know that maybe in the specific uh, situation you are a piece up, right? Maybe your opponent sacrificed a piece to get a very dangerous attack and now he's threatening you with check. And if you don't have a feel for the basics of the position, namely that currently you're a piece ahead, then maybe it is all the more difficult for you to think of a defense where you re-sacrifice the piece, so where you give the piece back. So, um, yeah, I think it's important to um, separate the character of the position from the behavior of the position. And with character, I mean the basics of the position, the positional characteristics, uh, if you like, from the uh, behavior of the position, which are the, the tactics and the skirmishes that are currently going on. Now, of course, you cannot ignore the tactical uh, skirmishes that are going on, but you should always have the basics of the position.